Hey guys, welcome back. Drip Coach here with Drip and Farm for Poverty, where we don't trust, we verify and operate with integrity and transparency. Today we're diving into what I think is a ultra bullish alpha kind of insight that we've talked about, but haven't really dug into. And what I'm talking about is X layer and more specifically the OKB token. Now the OKB token has been around for a while with probably the launch of the centralized exchange. Now here's the issue with that is that the token didn't really have any use case outside of uh, trading fee discounts, things like that on the exchange, just like BNB on the centralized Binance exchange. So all the accumulation and purchasing that you've seen has been 100% based off of the volume and support of the global reach of the OK exchange, centralized exchange and how they've been doing. And that led me to want to look at the OKB token itself and find out how it is distributed because that is a key indicator. So there is 16,262 total holders for the OKB token. Contrast that with BNB, which has 2.2 billion holders, and even Base, which has 22,000. So OKB has some room to grow just from a holder's perspective. But here's the real interesting part. As I just mentioned, all of the OKX, OKB token, sorry, the utility was tied to the centralized exchange. Remember, they did not have a layer two. They didn't have a DEX or anything because there's no layer two. So there's no need for that token to do anything else besides be speculative trading and support trading fees within the OK exchange ecosystem. So when you go through these holders, let's refresh this because I had labeled all these. This is really, really insightful. So I labeled this as well. But basically all these holders right here, these are all OK exchange hot wallets, meaning hot and cold wallets, meaning it's just OKX tokens, OKB tokens on the OKX exchange. Man, that is confusing. But it's just for them to have liquidity pools available and on the different pairs, um, you know, OKB with USDT, OKB with uh, BTC, with ETH, whatever. That's what all this is for. So these are just wallets on the exchange so people then can trade in and out. When you add this all up, all of the assets tied to the exchange, the total amount comes out to like 98 like 99% almost, basically 98.6 some odd percent. It is crazy. And the reason why I think that's an important metric to look at, like under normal circumstances, you would not want to get into a token that is 99.9% .9 controlled by a single entity. But remember, that is because there was no use case for it. So this means there is a lot of potential upside to this because they will have to diversify, use this token, people will have to buy it um, that are creating dApps. What do I mean? Let's go over to Binance. So over on Binance, BNB side, you see that the token holders are distributed across other contracts. Even Elephant has a huge share. Pancake Swap, Alpaca, Pancake Swap, Radiant Capital. All of these are contracts and dexes and um, bridges and all sorts of stuff. And in order for that, that has to happen on OKX, OKB, the OKB side on X layer, because that's the only way you build an ecosystem out of that. So that means every single one of these new dApps will have to come in here and purchase said token. And then maybe there's some OTC deals or something like that. They might give some away. I don't know. Like clearly they will probably be promoting or using some of these to give away with their I would assume with their partners, like that's how you would make partnerships and stuff on the decks, but they could make them buy it. I don't know, they just buy it at a discount. I, it really just depends. The point is this has to get broken up and split across the different dApps in the ecosystem and it has yet to do that. The other cool thing to look at or note is that this person here is the largest whale in the ecosystem with basically 0 0.03 OKB tokens and they purchased them where are they at? This is them here. Uh, they've just basically been purchasing them off the um, the exchange. They haven't done anything with them. So they just started their accumulation seven months ago. Uh, 1.84K, then here's 3 million. 
and then another 3 million traded back. So they've accumulated 4.8 million and they're, they weren't doing anything with it. So like they were just buying it off of the exchange and moving it into a hot wallet, their own hot wallet. Then they would move it back. Like there's no opportunities, but now they are sitting with some in a hot wallet. And the question would be why, why are they now moving it to a hot wallet? That's a good question. I do not have the answer to that, but I am speculating that it's been moved because they're looking at the, this is two days ago, the opportunities that are coming soon on the X layer. I don't know, but clearly they've been around accumulating it for a while. And the only utility for it prior to the launch of X layer was just, like I said, to support uh, token trades on the centralized exchange. So the fact that there's people accumulating large amounts of the token to me could be for liquidity provisioning on X layer, or it could be to, you know, arbitrage and, um, you know, sell, sell a pump whenever they start actually promoting. So remember, as of right now, there's really not a lot of hype and eyeballs on the X layer and protocols to support it. They're making announcements of stuff coming out, but it's not really generating a lot of hype in the token. Um, especially looking back within the last month, it's kind of actually gone down. So this is not financial advice, but to me, this is a good um, opportunity to accumulate. If you look at the uh, lows that we were here, this, this uh, amount was $52. So we weren't back to this amount previously till November of last year. I'm not doing any TA on any of this, but just the simple fact that X layer is live and that protocols are being announced and available and bridges and stuff like that are being created. The wormholes, all this stuff, to me, the narrative is lining up for a pump. And this is outside of whatever SwapX is doing. I'm just looking at the broader um, opportunities. And then again, comparing it to what Base has done and how diversified they are on their platform. And then of course, BNB, what you're all familiar with. So when I look at these amounts here and the amount of contracts, I just see nothing but opportunity um, here and somebody has to buy these tokens. So I'm assuming, like I said, they could give some away, but the bulk of them, I would assume they would sell and sell at a discount. Well, if that has to be sold to a team to create liquidity pairs, that means that will create buy pressure on that token. And that means we will see some price appreciation. And that also means there is not a lot of sell pressure coming from like whales, so to speak, <laughs> the largest bag holders are is the centralized exchange and they want to incentivize the utility of the token not just dump their token on the market i would assume and um that means also the dApps that are purchasing or getting allocated said token they're not going to dump it either they have to get more of it and strengthen their lp positions and in incentivize people to bring capital over to these new positions so yeah to me this is a sleeper of an opportunity and I don't watch a lot of content on OKX or whatever, but just looking at the holders, looking at the diversification that's there, um, I would say that this is something that not many people are looking at to see this opportunity and see how it could ship. Now, there could be some kind of black swan event. I don't know what, what that would be, but um, as long as the exchange doesn't get hacked and these tokens are SAFU, which they've been that way for a year now, and you can also validate that with... Um, that they own these assets by looking at their actual uh, audited address and download the audit and go through and open this up and check out the actual um, wallets and verify them yourself. So that's what I was looking at over here. 700,000 transactions or um, wallet interactions, whatever you want to call it. So the information is all there. It's all there on chain. Don't trust verify. You can do all of that and they literally walk you through the auditing process like how to verify it yourself so to me this is a no-brainer definitely if you're following the swap x narrative and things of that nature you're looking for opportunities the okb token is that opportunity like you could see a you know easy 5 10x on the token in my humble opinion um versus trying to catch a 3 or 4x on bnb a 2x on e3 two to two to three X on ETH, the one X or two X on Bitcoin, whatever that happens to be. Um, this one has a lot more upside potential because like I said, it's kind of 
been chopping in this range for quite some time. What was the previous cycle high? Yeah, it was just 40 bucks. So we're back at that range now. I can't actually click on that. I hate that. But anyway, um, keep your eyes and ears peeled. I'll definitely be adding some OKB to my bag after looking at this. All right, smash that HBO special. Help brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.